As many people will be aware, this morning we experienced some significant weather, um, specifically some intense rainfall between 6 and 9 a.m. Um, we saw, uh, as a result of that, we saw more than 250 requests for assistance to the SES. Um, that intense downpour, um, we saw some major impacts, particularly around the Mitcham area, between 6 and 7 a.m., with falls around 45 millimetres in that one hour period. As I said, it resulted in more than 250 requests for assistance, which our crews are currently working through now. I'd like to thank the public for their patience as we work through these calls. Um, we uh, would also like to thank our counterparts with the CFS, our volunteers there, and the strike team from the Metropolitan Fire Service who have been assisting our volunteers through the southern suburbs as we respond to those tasks. We'd like to advise people to stay up to date by checking the SES website, so ses.sa.gov.au. Whilst the weather was anticipated, um, we, the intensity um, of that downpour was quite sudden. Uh, and whilst the weather is now moving through and um, past the metropolitan area, uh, we would like people to still be mindful that there could still be some intense wind gusts later this afternoon. The weather's now moving um, across over the ranges and through the east of their state. We're monitoring those conditions at the moment as it moves through the Murray lands and the river lands and we'll continue to work with the community um, as those requests for assistance come through. If the community needs assistance, they can call our number 132500 uh, for any uh, emergency storm assistance. We would like to ask people to be mindful of the risks that still exist around the area um, where there are flooded roads. We'd ask people not to drive through those floodwaters or play in floodwaters. Be mindful of downed power lines and any trees that may be across roads. Sandbags can be available to the public. The locations of those sandbag sites can be found on the SES website. As I said, the SES does expect that this weather event has passed through the majority of metropolitan Adelaide and the risk is decreasing, but we would still like people to be mindful of wind gusts later this afternoon. Most of the tasks that we've been responded to have been for flooding, whether that's properties, um, th water entering through ceilings or flooded roads. Um, we have been responded to a task of a person trapped in a car uh, in Wayville. We would just remind people not to drive through flooded waters where we can. So the majority of our tasks have come through from the southern suburbs, so around the Mitcham area, down in Norlunga, um, and through that sort of Coromandel, Unley area. Have um, you found the um, residents that you've gone to help? Have, have they been um, pretty stressed out by this situation? Yeah, so the residents have been amazing. I'd really like to thank um, every member of the public who's rung through to us and has been really patient with our crews. It is a lot, large number of tasks to come through in a very short space of time. Um, and many of the members of the public have been really supportive and understanding of how long it may have taken crews to get to them. Please be patient. If you are still waiting for people to attend your residence, please uh, be mindful that those crews are working through them as quickly as they can. Again, being mindful that although the rain impacts um, seem to have eased, this afternoon we are still anticipating some wind gusts and so that as the catchment is saturated there is an increased risk that possibly um, some of those trees may be at risk so we'd be mindful of people being aware of the trees that may fall too.